plug and played live. Let's see. Let's uh, double check to make sure the streams were okay, and let's get some time for people to jump in. Hi everyone. This is Emmy from Black and Paid. There you go. What time is it over there where you're at? I'm over here in uh, California. I'm in Romania, so it's uh, 9 p.m. here. There you We're go. Trying, trying to cover all the time zones. That's why we decided on this time. So let's go, Bruce. Where I can see? Where can I see the list of people that joined? Uh, let's see what we got. They're ah, okay, be... I see live viewers. Yes. Yep. All right, let's jump into the group and let's take a look. Everything's okay. Yep, we're we're good. We're set. Cool. Hey there. So to everyone who's leaving us messages, uh, we'd like to highlight your name, but in order for you to do that, you have to give permissions to StreamYard. So please go ahead and uh, click on the permission there that you see on the live that says StreamYard.com slash Facebook and allow us to go ahead and call you out by name. So that way we can say John Smith said hi, guys. Right now, it just tells us, you know, hello, and it doesn't really give us specifics. It's just kind of like anonymous. Anyways, just want to give you a little bit of heads up. Uh, we're going to try to do this um, regularly or somewhat regularly. That way, we could talk to you about the current use of the platform. How are other companies using plug and played? Uh, the future of plug and played, what we're working on at a certain given time, bug fixes, uh, certain questions that we want to ask you, like, uh, what do you think about this upcoming feature? What do you think about, um, sorry, don't worry about that. Uh, what do you think about, like, um, what is our focus should be on? What are you most excited for in the future? So that's kind of like where we're coming from. So I guess we can go ahead and just get started, Emmy, and dive right into what you have going on with uh, the new update right after, uh, what is it? right after we go ahead and start with our uh, quick little intro that we did for you guys. So give me just a second, we'll be right back. Cool, Emmy, go ahead, let's do a deep dive. Sure, All right. let's make sure everyone sees my screen. Sure. All right, so it's all good, right? Okay, so um, I want to talk to you guys uh, quickly about um, our latest release, which brings uh, new and exciting features uh, that uh, a lot of you have been waiting for a long time, uh, which is um, uh, most of them are around branding and white labeling uh, plug and paid uh, for your business. So uh, I'm just going to jump right into the product and I have um, a lightning account let's say so if you have lightning then you'll be able to see in the add-on section the smtp integration and the custom domain so um what you can do is when you add your custom domain i added mine here it's called shopzomaland.com um you add a 404 redirect url which means uh, like if users go to shopzomaland.com slash something weird uh, where do we redirect them to uh generally this will be your site and um you just need to have to have a cname record for merchant plug and paid com we have a nice tutorial here if you click on more uh, and um it, it's really simple and then you say uh, save custom domain and boom it works with your domain so if you go for go to your plugs let's say uh, your links have changed to use your domain shop zoom slash card blah so now if I go here, um, I can see the card on my domain and we automatically generate uh, SSL certificates, which are valid for this domain. You don't, okay. have, to worry about, you don't have to worry about that. Um, it's all taken care of automatically behind the scenes. Okay, so this is custom domain. Similarly, you configure your SMTP to send emails from your, um, from, from your email server. Um, so again, your domain when sending emails. <coughs> and in settings, you can upload your logo, right? So when you upload your logo, let's say uh, my logo is this fireworks. Um, yeah, crop. And is the 
This is the horizontal logo. It's used in the emails. And then there is a square logo. Wait, I, I uploaded a square one, but uh, just for demo purposes, I'm going to put the same one. And you have this nice little uh, option, use logo in checkout pages. So, and you also have here uh, links to your uh, Facebook page, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. So you can save all this. Click save. And now uh, when you go here, I have my logo here in the checkout page. And let's say, let's say I want to check out and buy something, uh, whatever. Okay. I just want to show you that we have changed all the emails as well. So, um, in the emails that you now receive, um, they've got your logo. So this is the email that oh, you get nice. as a seller. This nice. is the email that you get for a seller as a seller. So it tells you where it was sold from, which link, and you can quickly manage that sale and you have the invoice attached with your logo, of course. Um, and okay, this is my email. And this is the email that the customer gets with your logo here. And it's from your account. So I have office.com in the from. So it's a, I've completely turned plug and paid into being my own tool um, with the lighting plan. And this is, um, I don't know, personally, I think this is kind of amazing. Um, we've seen uh, quite uh, some success stories already uh, from our, uh, some of uh, our close early adapters. Um, and we're waiting for you guys to try it out and let us know how it's working for you. And if there's anything you think is missing, so there, here, here is my Facebook link because I added it in the settings. So it's included in all emails. And this is my, you know, shop information, my public phone number, um, like nice professional emails. Uh, other things that are new. Um, there's a ton of things that are new and we cannot talk right now about all of them, but one very worthy, um, thing to mention is right now a plug, uh, does so much, so much more. It's kind of like a campaign and, uh, it already, uh, includes. So when you create a new plug, let's go, um, create a plug. I want to sell this product and um, cash and delivery. Um, okay. When I created the plug, it automatically creates a button, a widget, custom element if I want to embed or direct link. So I can use whichever of these codes and customize my button or whatever here, you know, and I can copy this code. And all of that, all of those codes point to the same plug. This plug is like a campaign. And in the future, what we want to do with the plug is um, give you the option because you, you see you have this nice uh, plug settings where you can configure all kinds of uh, uh, inter interesting stuff, uh, options for your cart. Um, we're looking to allow you to define time zone, time frames in which to launch your campaigns. And different campaigns can have different plug settings. The buttons can look differently. Like if it's Black Friday, you can change your buttons. Um, the the discounts can behave differently and so on and so forth. So that's kind of, what, kind of like themed colors based on the holiday. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like in the future, we'll be able to create uh, multiple campaigns based on timeframes and uh, configure them differently and have all this automatically set up. You don't have to do anything They They will just automatically change um, and apply those rules that you, you programmed ahead of time. Then you can just go out on a vacation for three months and your business will be fine. Um, so really powerful feature that's coming up. Uh, for now, we this, this, did this first step where a plug can have multiple call to actions. You can create, uh, you can create unlimited call to actions. Let's say you want to give out a link to someone to sell somewhere or some campaign, some uh, Facebook ads campaign. You just generate a new link. I have it here. I can copy the code. And um, with this code, all the sales are tracked for this call to action. They have tracking here, card view, sales, card abandonments for each of the call to actions. 
So this kind of give me, gives me a lot of insight of where my sales coming from, what channels are performing, what channels are not, uh, and so on. And this will eventually, of course, lead into the feature of uh, referrals and affiliates uh, that will be coming up soon as well. So you'll be able to do that through tracking of all the different links. All right. So I mean, we had a few questions. Let me go ahead and get started. Yeah, so, yeah, sure. so question number one, this is applied to the AppSumo plan. Sure. Question number one, does this apply, update apply to the AppSumo plan? This update applies to all plans and the branding part of it, like custom domains, SMTP, the logos, uh, all this sweet stuff is not available only for plans lightning and above, including uh, the ones that uh, stacked in the AppSumo campaign and including our subscribers, which have, um, for now, um, the, only a few of them because we haven't opened up the lightning plan yet, but I think within a week or so, we've got, we're gonna make that public and everyone will be able to create a lightning subscription. So lightning and above, they get all these brand sweet stuff um, and everyone else get all the other updates. The new emails are available for everyone, um, you know, and all, all of these uh, nice changes to the plugs and all the extra functionality and tracking that we've added uh, are available for everyone. Um, all right. Perfect. Questions? Okay. I love that, by the way. The the new emails, I, I love that. That just looked sexy. And the, the yes. new uh, the updates to the uh, shopping and checkout page. I understand that a lot of people, like a lot of Assumilings, when we go ahead and purchase a product, we you know sometimes wait a few months for it to mature. And I figured, you know, this is a perfect opportunity for more people to now, now that they've had it sitting for uh, a few months, now to jump back in and start playing with it. Now that there's a lot more of those uh, customization options that they were looking forward to doing that weren't there before, but now they have a more of a reason to do it. Sure, sure. Uh, I think it's looking like a really awesome uh, e-commerce solution and a really unique and uh, full of features. So there's another question here. Can we import products through uh, CSV, CSV file? Um, this is this is a very easy to add feature. We haven't added it yet because um, nobody asked for it. But uh, yeah, we will be adding it soon. Of course, it's uh, it's one of those features that need to be there, right? If you're Can, coming from another system, you have to be able to import. Absolutely. Can people? So can people vote on that feature request? Uh, actually, it's I think it's that important that we don't we don't put it up for voting. We will do it, so we will take this commitment that we're going to do this. Got it. So it's just a matter of time then. It's just a matter of time. We we have it on our roadmap. Got it. Got it. Perfect. Uh, okay. There's another question here. Yep. For for AppSumo LTD plan subscribers. Uh, how much extra for the lightning plan? You mean so if you only got one stack, one uh, code from from uh, AppSumo? Uh, yeah, back back then at the beginning, we promised you guys that um, when lightning comes, you sh should be able to to upgrade to it. I don't have an exact answer for this yet. We still have to create that plug and share it with you so we can upgrade your accounts. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have an exact answer right now. We we just didn't have time to get into this, but um, we'll do it really soon. We promise. Okay. Let's see um, can we go into uh, talking a bit about what's next? So, um, we've listened to your feedback uh, very attentively, and. Um, we saw a lot of you guys said that uh, you'd, you'd prefer um, like better looking cart, which um, should have like a white background or stuff like that. So there's all, all kinds of uh, uh, different kinds of feedback about our cart uh, experience. And uh, we wrote everything down. We, we went to the um, uh, drawing board with our designer. And uh, let me just show you guys some snippets of what's coming up. So this is the new card. 
it will look like this in a few weeks. Oh, wow. In, That's actually... in, our, <laughs> in our next release, this is how the card will look like. Uh, and it will have a ton, a ton of different options like upsells, variations with images, uh, cross sales, uh, you know, testimonials, um, all the sweet stuff that you want in a nice card. Um, and we, we have, like, for example, this is how the upsells look like. It will be a separate step. While you check out, you get a one click upsell. Add to cart, you can add it and go to the next step. Um, so it's gonna be looking really sweet on mobile as well. So just a sneak peek of what's coming up. Uh, it's really cool. We're really excited about it. We already started working on it and, um, and are looking forward to your feedback once we launch it um, as to how is it working for you. There you go. I, I was blown away with the, the multi-product cart, just FYI. That looked yeah. beautiful. It looked gorgeous. It did. It did. We're getting I'm some glad. feed. Yeah. We're getting some great feedback. There you go. So whoever you are, I know you said nice. I would have gave you a shout out, but you didn't give StreamYard permissions yet. But there you go. I mean, you're getting some props already. Thanks for the nice feedback. Here you go. There's um, Ben. Ben Basara. Uh, there you go. Shout out. Thanks. You know, I mean, you. Uh, you gotta hand you gotta start handing this off to the to the plug and pay team because I know you guys every week, every two weeks, every three weeks, there's just like another major milestone update that's coming out, and you have like a list that just goes on of yes. nothing but like bug fixes and new features, and it's like I don't see consistency consistently a list of changes that are this long every time there's a change log. So I just have to give you guys props. Thanks, man. It's a really uh, we love doing what we do, and especially now that we've got this great feedback from people that use plug and pay in our for running their businesses, and this gives us more power to make it even better. So we're really serious about this. As you saw, the new card will be looking amazing. And of course, you, if you have Lightning, you'll be able to personalize it, use your logo on there, uh, choose your colors, your brand colors, and everything will change nicely. Oh, sorry about that. You're uh, good, you're uh, good. Everything will change nicely um, based on your two colors that you, you select. Um, so, it's going to give a unique experience to your website. You put it on your own domain. Uh, so it, 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 it's, it's really amazing. And it will support, of course, multiple products and upsells. And um, um, we're, some of the other features that are coming up, just some spoiler alerts, uh, single sign-on integration and, and webhooks, um, because a lot of people requested those. Uh, so they're coming up, uh, affiliates, um those are big for me I, I'm, I'm right there with you webhooks and affiliates those are the two that i'm yes. looking forward to and and yeah i'm not there's a there's another big milestone after this card i'm not gonna reveal it right now so let's keep keep some more of this excitement going for the next calls but uh I, we promise it's gonna be huge so we're preparing something uh, very very big on september stay tuned but until then like if if, if you have any um, feedback about the current state of plug and pay and how useful it is to you and what would it take, what what does it need extra to be more useful to you? Please uh, let us know. We're active in the Facebook group. So uh, please join our Facebook user group and um, get the discussions going there. I will be present there almost every day. I'm checking and replying to people's comments. So let's let's keep a close connection connection because uh, uh, we've decided that this is the way we want to build our product in a close relationship with our users and not with our own hidden agenda. So, and I like that. Um, you know what we should probably do is put up a poll and to see what features are people excited for the most, and we'll just leave it as the like announcement pin in the group and let's see if we can uh, <laughs> wet their appetite. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds All right. Uh, let's see. Companies. Let's see. You got people who are um, starting to get excited now about uh, actually implementing this as part of their workflow. I'm telling you, the moment that we can have webhooks in it, 
there's a lot of us hardcore like sumo things sumo links enthusiasts are going to be able to be like okay i have branded emails i have a branded checkout and i have webhooks i'm in love and i can apply that to my clients as well for an agency even better even better nice. 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 there you go uh so whoever said finally we can start using the tool we would have gave you a shout out thank you for commenting there you go you're getting some great feedback there awesome and another person says awesome as well. There you go. It's got to make you feel good. Uh, here's a good one. Let's see if this comment will fit. It's a little lengthy. Let's see. I really hope you will allow early adopters to stack by getting extra codes, even if the AppSumo promo is no more. I only have one code right now and wish I'd stacked if I only knew then what I know now. Well, we did kind of give you a little bit of a heads up and an update. Matter of fact, uh, we both kind of like we're pushing AppSumo to include that list of updates inside that green box during the Sumo launch. So the green box is basically a list of objectives that when there's going to be upcoming items on a roadmap that a product has to deliver, you know, that's putting much that responsibility onto the de on the developer to deliver said features. You can see that it was a pretty aggressive uh, move by plug and paid and one that definitely caught a lot of people's eyes, which is like, wow, is this really happening? And I think it was like one of the first uh, deals at the time to actually push for 10 licenses with, uh, you know, with like a crazy amount of licenses. I don't think anything had been done like that before. The previous one before that I think was dub. And uh, so anyways, this gave them a lot of uh, leeway in terms of like, hey, we saw how many people were interested. They wanted a serious cart solution. They want the ability to have a lot of sub accounts and agency. And, you know, that's something that we were trying to emphasize and stress during like the last week of the campaign. Um, but you don't bring up something important. Uh, maybe we should try to see about what we could do for those people who only bought like one or two codes if they wanted to have like an agency solution now after the fact we should probably I, I remember distinctively that back then in, when the campaign happened i personally promised that we will allow this so you will be hearing from us really soon about your upgrade there you go there you go whoever you were i would have give you a shout out but thank you for the question uh luigi thank you for giving your permission there we go when will we have those amazing features all of them in september so some of them are already live, like the emails and the custom domain and the uh, SMTP and all that uh, sweet stuff. Um, upcoming in a few weeks is a new cart. After that is a big milestone, which we're not revealing yet. And after that is agency and everything that uh, is about agency. So, so you have kind of the plan. So you have more announcements besides agency? Yes, agency oh. is something different <laughs> okay that's news to me that's even better and i talk so, to this guy like twice a week <laughs> yeah yeah so um we've got a lot of feedback and a lot of good ideas came from our team as well as to how to make it better and so we're preparing a nice surprise after this uh, cart and after that the agency features will be will, will start rolling out so um I think by the time we finish agency with everything that agency needs, it will be close to end of the year. So that's kind of the timeline that we're looking at and only sweet stuff is coming. So please stay tuned. There you go. There you go. So Luigi, I hope that helps answer your question. There you go. There you go. People are starting to shower you with some love, Emmy. There. Hope you're, yeah. hope you're enjoying the adulation. Thanks, everyone. I will I will send all the nice feedback to the team. And, um, you know, we couldn't do build this amazing product without you and your feedback. So keep it coming. Thanks a lot. So, guys, um, before we wrap it up, a uh, couple things. One, we want to say thanks for also being part of uh, this first kind of like official Facebook Live that we're doing. Uh, number two, we want to hear how you're using Plug and Paid. Um, reach out to the group, you know, talk to us, give us your use case about how you're using it because we may have you on in the upcoming weeks specifically for a uh, kind of like a, I don't want to call it a, a testimonial, but more like, you know, hey, we'll give you a shout out. We'll put you on camera. You guys can tell us how you're using it in your day-to-day -day work. I don't know if you have an agency. We don't know if you're going to have it as an individual or you just use it to send out invoices. Hey, we want to hear it. 
we'll put you on uh, camera. We'll do a little interview with you, kind of like what I'm doing with Emmy now. And yeah, we'll put you guys on in the future. The more of you that go ahead and just give us your use case scenarios and, and telling us how that you're using it or what you want to see, perfect. We'll invite you guys on to camera next time. And in the following weeks after that. There you go. Yeah, yeah, sounds great. Thanks, Bruce. Cool. All right, guys. Well, uh, we got some comments here before we let you go. Um, here we go. Subscriptions, uh, subscriptions on the road. Are but subscriptions are supported right now for Stripe, if you're using Stripe. Um, I'm not sure about Insta Mojo. They might work with Insta Mojo. I'm not sure. But they do work with Stripe. We're looking into uh, PayPal subscriptions. It's been proven a very uh, difficult task, technically. We've uh, worked on it also in the past and working with PayPal engineers to figure things out mm -hmm. because it's a bit more complicated. I need, we, we as a company need to get your permissions in order to um, set up all these recurring uh, um, payments and it's a bit more complicated with PayPal. Uh, we have it on the roadmap and we'll be working on it um, sometime this year, cannot promise. Uh, on a date for the PayPal subscriptions, but we hope they will be coming soon. Um, yeah, we will. We might be adding more payment gateways as we uh, go further. So the ones that support subscriptions, we will add subscriptions. The ones that don't, uh, we'll just have no no more payments. So. so I guess that'll probably be a good poll for the group as to what payment processors do people want us to include that has a subscription module or feature to it. Sure. All right, and we'll do that after the, uh, we'll do that after the, um, the stream here. Uh, Luigi, any future integration with WordPress? That's a good one. Um, the WordPress integration is added in the community page of Plug and Paid and is the most voted feature for by our users. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's got top priority from that uh, perspective um we, we will pick it at some point depending on how our next releases go uh, and implement it um what we have in mind is an easier way to add uh, your plugs into your wordpress pages than having to go to html and copy paste the, the code there um, you should be able to you know browse through your visually through your plugs and choose which one you want to to add in that uh, place if you have other ideas regarding the WordPress integration, please let us know and um, yeah, we'll take it into consideration. Well, for me, and this probably also applies to others, you know, WooCommerce and WordPress are pretty much like synonymous with each other. If you have people who aren't familiar with plug and paid, and let's say they're currently using WooCommerce now, how would they work, if possible at all, with plug and paid? Yeah, that's a good question. Maybe uh, it would be good to have an import tool, uh, some kind of tool that you can migrate from WordCommerce to Plug and Paid uh, more easily. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that that would be one way, I guess. Uh, we sense. don't have this this migration tool built yet, but it sounds like a good idea. Uh, other than that, I'm not sure if in WooCommerce you can disable the checkout part and add your own code for that. I'm not that sure you might not be, because I suppose people will want to use the product pages and uh, you know the general shop design uh, from WooCommerce and the checkout experience from Plug and Paid. I'm not sure. Maybe that's the use case. I suppose for for more and, customization, I can see that, especially after affiliates come out. Then there's even more reason to maybe try to integrate WooCommerce with Plug and Paid if you use plug and paid for affiliate sales. I don't know, just, just tossing some ideas out there. Yeah, sure. So um, yeah, we'll be discussing uh, WooCommerce again internally in our team, and we'll post some updates when we get, get them. And that just happened to be Luigi's next question. How about WooCommerce integration? So we can recycle the WooCommerce products database. Yeah, yeah. Luigi basically read my mind, yeah. So an import tool, yeah, or migration tool, where you can migrate from commerce into plug and paid and have all your products uh, ported. 
I wonder how many people also use uh, Shopify or Big Commerce for that reason. That'd be interesting to hear. Uh, what other uh, payment platforms like uh, WooCommerce and Shopify, Big Commerce? What are the ones that you guys use in the most? And you'd like to see some sort of um, uh, integration to do like a products handoff if you're going to migrate from one platform to another. Obviously, uh, WooCommerce makes sense, but let's see what other ones besides WooCommerce uh, people might have interest in. Yeah, we'd be interested to find out. We already know WordPress and WooCommerce are very used by um, by a lot of people. So if, if there's any other plat platforms that you think um, uh, we need a, a migrate tool to build, please let us know. Yeah. There you go. All right. I think cool. that's all the questions. Yep. I think we're set. Um, well, I think this was a, a good first episode. So on that note, Emmy, thanks for staying up with us. I know it's getting a little bit late over there, so we'll go ahead and we'll let you go. And then us Americans, we're going to go ahead and get started with our day. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for joining. And thanks, Bruce, for organizing this. You got it. Uh, well, actually, right as we're going to leave, Luigi drops a bomb. Hold on. 60 custom domains with WooCommerce store and a custom checkout, but I keep WooCommerce as the database. So no need to export from Woo. We just want to keep Woo as a database. Luigi, you probably, because you have such a big and, and custom use case, probably want to hop on a chat with, uh, with me and Emmy and, and the team. And that way we could get a better understanding of what you're trying to do specifically. And then uh, we'll have the team come up with a way of like, look, if there's a solution that works for you, maybe it works for other people too. Yeah, generally, generally, if uh, people have like a complex setup and uh, they like our features and want to integrate, uh, we can talk about an enterprise collaboration. So we can go into specifics, see maybe do some custom integration, stuff like that. We are open to this kind of collaborations. So please reach out and we'll, we'll find a solution for you. You know what, something that, that's come up uh, also across my desk this past year, uh, and I'll leave it at this, is that sometimes when people want to do migrations, they're not too techy, but they need uh, assistance. So usually the two questions that I see with other platforms is, hey, are you like a certified, uh, what is it, like a support or reseller? You know, like you go through like a certification. And, or number two is, does the company itself offer some sort of uh, service or a feed to help out with the migration? So I put that out there just in case. I don't know if you guys thought of it, but that might come up in the future if people have some significant uh, stores, like on Shopify, that they want to migrate over. Yeah, we're open to all kinds of collaborations. So uh, yeah, from, from case to case, we can discuss in private and find a good solution that if it doesn't match one of our plans. Gotcha. Okay, cool. There you go. So a little bit more love. Emmy's going to be thanks thanks you. There you go. This is a great feedback. Thank, really, thank you, guys. And make sure you thanks hand her. that off to the team. There you go. Leo is the man here. Thanks, Leo. There you go. Cool. All On right. that note. We'll go ahead and uh, Jason, thanks you for also being into the green room. Guys, if you want to go ahead and jump on with us, don't forget next time, click on the StreamYard link. You'll see some letters and numbers. Click on that and you can go ahead and join us on camera too. And uh, on that note, thanks for joining us, guys. We'll be signing off and have a good one. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>